Zucosis follows the story of Paul Conley, a financially struggling man in dire need of money to support his wife and child. He finds a job opening at the Pine Valley Zoo, offering $1,000 per year, which seems to be too good to be true, and it is, considering what happens at the end of the game. Paul then goes to the interview for the job opening with a man named Oliver, I think I forgot what his real name was. Anyways, he introduces himself as Doc. He had another name, but as I mentioned before, I forgot. So anyways, during an interview when Paul is having second thoughts, the Doc pulls up a recording on Paul talking to emergency services regarding his mental health and that surprises Paul as to how he obtained those, revealing that whatever this job is, it's very, very shady. Let's not waste time here. You'll be sitting here all night, and I've got more important things to attend to. All right, I didn't want to do this, but it seems I have to. Listen. Hello, you breached the emergency helpline. How can we help you? I... I got nothing. Uh, I've been unemployed for a year. I lost my house. My money is gone. No life. My family. Damn it. I, I just can't face them. Lily, Gina, they're great. I'm too good for me. I'm... I'm just a stupid failure. What? Where did you get this? Chill, Paul. No need to break the nose of a man ready to solve your problems. Reluctantly, he signs the NDA that is mandatory for the job. The dog then sneakily injects Paul with a substance that knocks him out. Waking up, the dog says it's just standard procedure and whatnot and leaves the part out where the animals, including himself, have been injected with an 8,000-year-old parasite found from the Arctic ice. Anyways, Paul, still hopeful that this job is good, sends his wife some meat blocks that they use to feed the animals, which later turns out to be not so eatable as it is actually human meat, as we find out later. Okay, so Paul gets to work cleaning and collecting animal samples to see their health and making them antibiotics and other drugs to keep them healthy and safe until one of the animals mutates suddenly and start attacking other animals. Paul manages to control the mutation either by killing the animals or by suppressing the mutation by calming it down and is furious that he got punked into getting a job offering $100,000 per year when it should be $1 million per month. He gets on a huge fight with the doc on the phone who explains that he can calm the mutated animals by feeding them meat because it apparently calms them. But since Paul gave one block to his wife and child, he has to go to the grinder to make a new one where he finds the horrible truth. They are using human meat. Paul finds a naked woman still alive dangling from top of the grinder where he again has a choice. He can either save her, which we would be further exploring, or he could turn her into me. Saving the girl makes you find out that she is a reporter who got caught snooping with one of the employees to find out the horrible experiments going on in this zoo. At this point, the parasite inside Paul is mutating rapidly, which is shown by the grotesque veins on his arms, so they plan to work together to find out the truth. They both find a basement hidden underneath that belongs to the dock and here the reporter named Sarah finds out that there is a sentient entity called the mother that is the root cause of all these parasites. So the only way to help Paul is to kill the mother. They make a poison that has to be injected inside a living organism on which the mother needs to feed off of to get that poison's effect and Sarah gets the idea to outsmart the dog. She places Paul's paralyzed body in front of the mother's door and takes his body cam and places on the side to record the confession from the dog. Then she waits for the dog to come open the door leading to the mother's lair when suddenly she incapacitates him and injects him with the parasite on which the mother feeds on, releasing Paul from the parasite's hold as the mother and dog both die.
The poison is ready. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a problem. Only Doc has access to the biometric lock from the mother's enclosure. And the mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. I'm sure there must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to eject the poison myself. You need to do it. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this shit. Just wait for the doc. This is doc. Master, inject me with the poison, Sarah. Paul and Sarah then escape the zoo, but not before Paul crashing the dog's car. While the game's premise and atmosphere had a lot of potential, it's clear that its execution suffered after the tragic death of the screenwriter, who turned out to be the motion capture, you can say, for the character of Doc. The ending feels rushed, lacking the emotional weight they should carry, though it's understandable as what had happened. The whole experience is just an hour and a half long, which isn't enough time to explore the complex themes the story introduces. Furthermore, the voice acting feels lifeless, almost as it, is, it has been generated by AI, making it difficult to truly feel the fear and dread that Paul experiences. Zucosis is a cautionary tale about the dangers of corporate greed, twisting science, and humanity's obsession with power over nature. It may be short, but its chilling narrative and grotesque visuals leave a lasting impression, making it a disturbing piece of lore worth delving into. <laughs>